on a disused airfield north of Cambridge, next to the bunkers that decades ago used to house lots of the country's nuclear bombs. They're launching a project that could one day answer one of life's great questions. Are we alone in the universe? This concrete bunker behind me is where the staff had to come if the base came under attack. You can see the slits where they put their guns out. But today there's something very different going on behind this blast-proof door. It's the headquarters of the East Anglian Astrophysical Hello, Research Organisation, a charity that's trying to raise a million pounds to build a giant telescope to listen out for signs of extraterrestrial life. OK, so if you can imagine this whole area is two football pitches side by side. So signals come down from space, they hit this mirror, and they're reflected across the other side of the site to this parabolic reflector, which focuses or concentrates the signal back into this feed horn here. At the back of the feed horn is a small building. Uh, just to give you an idea of scale, that's about the size of a small garden shed. Our search is very different uh, and I think quite refreshing. We're going to be looking for activities in space, such as interplanetary mining, asteroid mining. We're going to be looking for uh, spacecraft propulsion systems, really uh, advanced civilizations going about their everyday lives. The charity's run by everyone from academics and engineers to volunteers like 12-year-old Alex. She's spending her school halls looking for shooting stars over France. So, as you can see, there's one just about to disappear, that white in the very centre is an actual meteor itself. How would you feel about the idea of being involved with the projects that one day hears something out there? It would be breathtaking to know that just us have found something that no one else in history has ever found ever before. And if I was included in that, that would be amazing. This 1970s computer readout might not look much, but it contains the strongest candidate we've ever had for an alien radio signal. There's a 72 second section that's so unique, the astronomer wrote wow next to it. It was heard by a telescope just like the one this team wants to build. They've got a possible site in Cornwall. The UK Space Agency is interested and they hope it could be eavesdropping on intelligent life in under five years. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridgeshire.